Hola Artillery Observers and welcome back to Pokemon Stadium 2. My name is Andy, your uncommentator, and this is Michael Jordan's favourite episode of this series because it is episode number 23 and in this episode we are going to be taking on Blaine, the Cinnabar Island gym leader. Uh, now if you like this episode as much as Michael Jordan, feel free to give the video a like and a share. Also, if you leave a comment down below, um, I'd also be really grateful if you could do any of those three things, actually. I'd be really grateful for that. So, uh, anyway, and let's, let's get on with it. So, let's go into the um, Cinnabar Gym. So, for this battle, we're going to pick Corsola's going to come back out to play. A couple of new Pokemon now coming up, so that's good. Trying to use as many Pokemon as we can in this playthrough, be as diverse as possible. Magcargo. I don't think we've used Magcargo before. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, Seedra. Where are you? Where are you? Let's be having you. There you are. I think I've done that joke before, haven't I? Uh, probably. I do a, a re recycle all my jokes. Right, so uh, we need to pick another three Pokemon. Uh, well, I don't know what I'm thinking about. So let's go for Schizor, uh, Seal, and Sentry. It doesn't matter. Just need to dish out some confectionery so for Corsola you can have the no okay that's not good uh, you have that you have a normal berry and you don't have anything because you suck and don't deserve it right let's go so we're gonna take on Blaine I've said before I don't know in how many videos which videos I think this is the best looking gym I may be proven wrong when we loads there's Blaine's team, so we'll just... There's Blaine's team, so let's quickly uh, look at our team. And I know I said there's Blaine's team twice. But I shouldn't have done, but I did. So let's move on with our lives. Of course, all we've seen before. Surf, Ancient Power, Miracle, all that crazy stuff. Uh, Macargo, really slow, as it's a snail, as you'd expect. Uh, but good defence. Uh, it's got Rock Slide, which could be useful. Fire Blast, which is strong. Maybe get some Poison in as well. And Seedra, uh, obviously a water type. Good special attack, good speed, good defense, actually. So water type against a fire gym is probably going to do quite well. Now, I'm fully expecting Blaine to pick either Parasect or Octillery. Hopefully, he picks Macargo, because it's quad weak to water. Um, and then Ninetales, Rapidash, not my favorite Pokemon, but that's them. This is me, and we are going to pick Macargo. And then we're going to have Corsola and Siege, of course, as backup. Here we go. This is the amazing gym I keep talking about. Look at it. Oh, look at it. I think it looks fantastic. That, I really do think it looks good. And Pokerol launches in to reveal Macargo. Let's see what it reveals on the other side. Hopefully Parasect. Hopefully not Octillery. That's the last one I want to see. Oh, Rapidash. Okay. Rapidash, interesting. Now, do I battle here? I think I do. Um, Rock slide. Get ready to go. There's a switch, probably to Parasect. Not Parasect, Octillery, sorry. We've got Rock Slide lined up though, so that's good. Oh, it's artillery. Yep, there's Octillery, which I was expecting. Doesn't matter though, I think we should be okay here. What's the opening gift? Please hit. Cute rock moves are not known for their accuracy. The kind of attack is quite poor actually. Uh, right, so let's go to Corsola. Before we get whatever we're going to get. It'll be a water move, no doubt. Sending Corsola. Fortunately, water is neutral damage here because of the rock typing. Ooh, a little bit of the bubble beam! So there's normal damage. Okay, so now. So Miracle. Maybe we should have switched straight away, actually. Bubble beam again. I'll not do the. Uh, I'll not do it for the third time, that line. I did it, I did it in a previous episode, if anyone hasn't seen that. And I ruined it then. Did it slightly better that time, but still, I can't do it as well as the guy who did it, the original. Uh, I should just hold my hands up there, I think, and admit that. Oh, that's annoying. I was hoping that I'd take it out. 
Now, do we outspeed Octillery? That's the question. Let's, well, let's, I think we're dead anyway, so we need to go for Ancient Power, because I think if we go for Miracle, he will kill me. No! Is that the Quick Claw coming into play? Apparently it's not. Survive! Damn it. That's annoying. Okay, that's Corsola gone. Which sucks. But oh well. So we'll send in Seedra. And as long as we get rid of this Octillery in one move. I still make us favourites here. I think we should be fine. Uh, so let's go for Dragon Breath. Seedra not a Dragon type. It's Kingdra when it gets the Dragon type. We should do 18 damage here. Of course, even if you Surf, I expect 18 damage. There goes, there's Octillery gone. Two of those dreadful Pokemon that you just never pick, do you? And why does River Raid evolve into it? Bizarre. Okay, so now that's gone. So hopefully, two fire types left. We should be okay. We know one's Rapid Ash. Rapid Ash and Flareon. I think we outspeed Flareon. I don't think it's the quickest um, of the evolution. So let's go straight for Surf. We need to kill this Flareon with Seedra. We'll be okay. Come on, critical hit. Yeah, we know it is, but it won't kill it. Not even close, actually. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. Shouldn't diminish uh, the power of Surf enough, though, to make a difference, I wouldn't have thought. So Sunny Day powers up fire moves and weakens water moves. We've seen that before. But a Surf will take it out here. Yeah, the key to these gyms really is, well, some of the gyms, is to just take out the non-type uh, of the, the gym, if that makes any sense. So, Octillery's, this is a fire gym, Octillery's the non-fire type. If you take that out, you're, you're pretty much okay. So, Rapid Ash against a Seedra and a Macargo, both of which are super effective against it. That's annoying, though. It won't do as much damage. We're going to stick with Surf, though. Okay, and it will also power this move up, so we may take more damage than we expect here, but Seedra does have good special defense, I think. Quite a lot of damage, that. It is a powerful move, though, as well. So, powerful move and powered up. And a good special attack, so those three factors. Okay. It did. Now, that shouldn't make any difference. I don't think I think we should probably still going to die here. Commands are made. Fire Blast again. Hopefully this will miss. There it goes. Not the most accurate move, Fire Blast. Oh, that's a miss. Ooh, just to prove my point. Will this do it? Thanks, Rabbit Ash, you've proved my point. Oh, can it keep going? It can keep going. That's why I said that, actually. Normally it says, is, that, is this it? It means but that it's over. Uh, right, okay, so Surf again. So we may not even need my cargo for this one. This is nice. Compared to the other gyms, this is not too bad. Compared to Sabrina, this is way easier. Okay, Seedra is no more. So maybe a bit fortunate though with that, with that second uh, fire boss miss. So we just need... Oh, it's 22 again. We're not going to sing. Um, yeah, 20, 22 seems to pop up a lot in this game. So we should be able to do uh, 22 damage with the cargo. Hopefully the sun will wear off as well. Yeah, there we go. That will weaken the fire moves. And the only chance he's got here... Smog. Look at that, 70% accurate. I'm bad at this accuracy. Oh, rock slide. Didn't hit last time. Let's go straight for it. Fire blast. And this is... I think this is quad resistance, so this should hardly do anything. Yeah, so you res fire resists fire, and rock resists fire. That's why I picked Mikado for this battle. Hey, there we go. Rock moves do what rock moves do. Yeah, this is why I picked Mikado for this uh, for this battle because of the resistance to fire and having a rock move, which is super effective against fire. So it's quite a smart little choice, I think. Here, yeah. I think the only chance he's got here. I don't know without the it shouldn't matter. I think he's run out of fire blast now. I think that's his last one. Unless rock slide keeps missing. This should, we should win this. There we go. I was going to say, the only chance he's got here is if Rock Slide keeps missing. Or, he does have stomps. If he could have kept stomping me getting flinches. 
and could have got the win there. What about Cargo? Good job, that was fairly painless. So the MVP, I'm going to give it to... I don't know to actually. I'm going to give it to Cost Soul, I think. And I know it shouldn't impact my thinking, but Cost Soul should have won it before and it hasn't. So I think that's a good reason. But I think I'm going to give it to Cost Soul because it got rid of the Octillery. Um, should we give it to Cost Soul? Should we give it to Cedra? Well, to be fair, Cedra killed the Octillery. Cost Soul did most of the damage, though. Um, no, we. Oof. She got rid of the flaring as well, didn't it? But not. Oh, I don't know. We'll give it. We'll give it Corsola. We'll give it Corsola. So um, Corsola's the Cinnabara Gym MVP. Nearly there. So next episode will be episode um, number twenty-four. But the next uh, will be the eighth gym of the Kanto. So then we are nearly done with round one. So uh, when we get to that point, that'll be great, but for now, sayonara.